What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City match review, match analysis and match reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to Manchester City's dropping points, uh, draw against Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium uh, with the game finishing one all. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe. Also don't forget social media links there in the description including my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below and do leave a thumbs up that would be great 100 likes is the aim so my reaction my thoughts um it's a difficult one there's numerous amounts of reasons why Manchester City dropped points today there isn't one specific reason as to what happened today, why that happened and what Man City can do to sort it out. What you saw, in particular in that first half, was Manchester City not really having the answer to Chelsea's game plan, which was very much what we see a lot of times at the Etihad. Low block, park the bus, teams are going to be very defensive, there's going to be no real space for Man City to work with and so your only way of working your way around these situations is by scoring first and scoring pretty early in the game to flip the game on its head and all of a sudden you're 1-0 down after 10 minutes, park the bus and low block approaches just won't cut it and won't work and the amount of pressure that would be put onto Pochettino and onto Chelsea would be astronomical. Don't forget, Pochettino's job potentially was on the line on Monday before their game against Crystal Palace. And all of a sudden now, Manchester City, uh, through whatever reason, ended up making Chelsea look like a team that, if I didn't look at the league table, I'd be saying Chelsea are, are challenging for a top four spot, that they're a difficult team to play against. And it's just not the case. Man City just didn't have the answer. And the one thing I liked about Chelsea today was Chelsea had the ability to go forward. They weren't scared to get forward. Chelsea probably should have scored at least two goals in that first half. They really should. Um, Ryan Sterling missed a golden opportunity before tucking his opportunity into the back of the net. But Nicholas Jackson had a wonderful opportunity to score, very similar to Raheem Sterling's goal, that he did end up scoring. So then three opportunities in the first half causes me a lot of concern because there were three very similar opportunities. Cole Palmer drops deep into space, plays one through ball that completely cuts out Manchester City's defence. City's defence isn't very quick for considering we're playing such a high line. Their attacking wingers were attacking them and then you see their wingers go direct and go through the middle and early balls coming in from out wide, whoever was ended up out wide, whether that be Gusto, uh, whether that was going to be someone like Nicholas Jackson or it's going to be Cole Palmer or whoever was getting into them wide positions. They were going with them early balls across and it was causing Manchester City all kinds of problems in the first half and it was there in the early parts of the second half Chelsea's substitutions I thought were ill-timed weren't necessary and weren't needed and once they'd made them subs kind of took away Chelsea's counter-attack threat and it just became very much about them trying to hold on to a 1-0 lead now I fancy Man City even if we're having a bad day are always going to score at least a goal risky game to play and I felt like Chelsea could have got the three points if they'd stuck with uh, Jackson and Palmer on that pitch. They didn't. Uh, uh, Manchester City thankfully managed to come away with a point uh, and grab the equaliser through Rodri and getting that deflection to find the back of the net. Hurrah! But at the end of the day, a point today in this game isn't a good result for Manchester City because Liverpool picked up a brilliant win away from home. Statement win made in the early kickoff today, winning 4 1 away at Brentford. And Arsenal laid out their statement away from home against Burnley with a 5 0 win. Now, it just adds more pressure onto Manchester City in the build up to this game. And we've been here time and time again, so pressure to me, not an excuse for Manchester City to turn up today. That first half performance was so slow, so lethargic, so un Manchester City. The approach was all wrong. 
Why was we not all guns blazing for that opening goal? FC Copenhagen, right? In the Champions League, we were playing all-out attack first 10 minutes to grab that all-important opening goal to put us on the front foot and put them onto the back foot and put them under pressure. When they grabbed the equaliser, we continued to attack to put them onto the back foot to grab that goal as quickly as possible. Why on earth, under the pressure that we was under, did we not have the same approach here? I do not know. I don't know why City were so slow in that first half. It was like Man City were happy to play a close, cautious game in the chance that something will stick, we'll grab the opening goal and we'll go on to win the game. And it just didn't happen. Chelsea gave us warning signs, we ignored them warning signs and we got punished for it. And I felt like we were lucky to come away with the point in the end because Manchester City, our shooting boots, just weren't on. So, firstly, we dropped points today because I thought Chelsea were very good. Second of all, we dropped points today because we just weren't clinical enough. Over 20 shots in total in the game, less than five on target. It's so poor. Petrovic in goal, not even Chelsea's number one. Uh, Sanchez is injured. Man City haven't had enough shots. We haven't tested him enough. Chelsea had numerous amounts of injuries in this game. There was a makeshift back four put in place from Chelsea today. And you just wouldn't think it. Because Man City didn't do enough, in my opinion, to win this game. We did have the opportunities, however. Erling Haaland, couple of brilliant headers missed by him. So Erling Haaland, you saw it at the end of the game, he shoved the camera out the way, he's frustrated. He probably blames himself because for the quality that Erling Haaland has got, he really should be finding the back of the net. And he didn't. And their missed opportunities really have come back to bite Manchester City here. We needed three points from this game. We haven't got three points from this game. And the implications on that now means Manchester City... Every game between now and the end of the season is a must-win game. 14 cup finals, 14 wins are needed. If City can win all 14 games, we win the Premier League. It's still in our hands. But Anfield, Spurs Stadium, Etihad against Arsenal, three mammoth, huge games for City between now and and the end of the season. There's a Manchester derby shoved in there, but with how poor Man United are and how they like to play, I fancy City will take the three points, but even they're finding form, and there's nothing more Manchester United would love than to trip Manchester City up to stop us making history and winning four Premier Leagues in a row. They won't like that. We've already equaled their record of taking three Premier Leagues in a row. We've already equaled their record and taken a treble. They won't want us to go on and better that. And Manchester City, they need to find the right balance. I spoke before the game about the importance of goal difference, how one game changes my mind. I'm no longer concerned about goal difference because the Premier League uh, title, to me, isn't going to come down to goal difference. The most important thing I take away from this game was Man City managed to pick up that point. That point that we picked up today, you might not think it and you'll be very disappointed, so am I. That could just be the point that wins Manchester City the Premier League title. That point today takes goal difference away. That point means if Man City go on to win every single game between now and the end of the season, we win the Premier League and there is the potential that Manchester City and that point could just be the catalyst that pushes away Arsenal and pushes away Liverpool. We've got huge games coming up against them, so it is still in our hands. But what this game does do is it means more than likely... If Man City beat Brentford and we beat Bournemouth and Liverpool beat Luton and we win the Manchester derby and Liverpool win against Nottingham Forest away, when we have that showdown clash uh, at the beginning of March against Liverpool at Anfield, it's very much a case to me, winner takes all. And it's now in a position where Liverpool will regard that game as a do-not-lose game. And it's a must-win game for Manchester City. And that's huge. Because before this match against Chelsea, we win against Chelsea and the results happen that you think that they're going to go between now and that match at Anfield. It would have been a do-not-lose game for Manchester City at Anfield. It means we can afford a draw. It means we don't have to beat them. Something we're not very good at doing, in particular when there's fans in the stadium. 
absolutely huge. In my time supporting City with fans in the stadium, I recall once us beating Liverpool at Anfield. Correct me if I'm wrong, Blues, but that was when Kiki Masampa scored for Manchester City. And we are talking like... The first, like Spurs, the second year that I started supporting Manchester City, it's way back, way back. Well, well it's like twenty odd years ago. It, mental, absolutely mental. It's not a happy hunting ground. Because of this result today, it's now a must win. We are capable. We did it during the lockdown season of no fans allowed in the stadium. We can win at Anfield. It's just not a very easy thing to do. And if we play more games like we did against Chelsea today, we'll be dropping more points between now and the end of the season. And there just isn't any room for margin for error. It's going to be a 90-plus point season, which means Manchester City, we're pushing for perfection. We've got what it takes. We've been here before. We need to use today as motivation to spur us on, to push through this busy schedule, through February and through into March. There's no real opportunity now for Man City to rotate when it comes to the Premier League. It means if there is to be rotation, it's going to have to be done through the FA Cup. It's going to have to be done in trying to seal games in the Champions League that you can coast a little bit more. And Man City probably going to take their eye off with goal difference and try and coast through Premier League games. But you start doing that at 2-0 up, it's a dangerous game to play. So there is fine, fine, fine margins. And this could be another scintillated end to the Premier League season so strap yourselves in for the ride Blues we're not dead and buried still in our hands and trying to remain optimistic in what's quite frankly not a very good result but it is advantage Liverpool it is advantage Arsenal because they'll be happy right now and we are we've still got to play them though and we can wipe them smirks off their faces uh, and then some so I'll see you all for the build-ups towards these huge games coming forward Remember, loads of Manchester City content and loads of football content to come for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do get your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you all again real soon as we build up to that huge game against Brentford midweek. Manchester City's game in hand. It is a must in block capitals. Must win game. I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.